Hello Toy Collector fans, Universal Toy Collector here and welcome to the channel. And welcome to another episode of My Collecting Life, the series where I get to speak to you, members of the toy collecting community, about your own personal collections. Finding out what got you into collecting in the first place and what gives you that toy collecting buzz. So, who is the guest on this week's episode? Well, why don't you sit yourselves down with a cuppa, dunk a biscuit, and let's take a goosey gander at some of his collection in a musical montage. Okay, so yet again, another fantastic collection. And it is an absolute pleasure to welcome to the channel, Mr. Tez Rollins from Rollins Reviews. How are Hello, you, sir? Hello, Stu. You're all right. Hello. Yeah, not Hello. too bad. Not too bad. Well, yeah. firstly, thank you so much for taking the time out to do this. I know you're a busy man. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you too? You too. We're all busy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So your time is much appreciated. So, as always, I have 10 questions. And um, yeah. it's all about you. Run time's about an hour. And uh, if it goes over, it doesn't really matter. So, uh, yeah, hey, ho. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're used to that from yeah. USR. So I can't pass on oh, any yes. questions. I can't get any um, questions wrong. <laughs> no, 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 not this time around. Not this time around. But you, you, you should be going okay. So not we'll get on with the first question then. Cool, cool. So far away. What are your childhood memories and what toy lines were you into? Oh, my childhood memories. Well, I've, I've, there's a big one out there. In, uh, I can't work out when it was. It must have been after Christmas, February. Um, seeing Star Wars at the local Odeon Cinema in Chester. I was, I was not even, I wasn't even four. So I was, I was wow. like, yeah. My birthday's in May. My birthday's on May the fourth. So. Uh, 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 no, it's, it's on How May the cool third, so I I missed oh, my oh. one day. Oh. So, yeah, uh, yeah, j just just that um, uh, that 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 the Death Star coming over your head, um, Darth Vader blowing through the white doors, um, the cantina, um, the trench run, Jawas. Yeah, just yeah, it, I was hooked since you know uh, from then really. So. Awesome. So, uh, so you saying you were four years old going to the pictures to watch that? I wonder coming the out. Mom. Can you? Can, yeah, obviously you're going to go on your own. <laughs> but I mean, can, but, but you can remember that because I, I was, I was. Well, what was I? 
I would have been about three. I would have been four. I I, I would have been too young to remember. I cannot remember going to see Star Wars. I, 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 to be honest, it's uh, uh, apart from making mud pies in the back garden in the late seventies. Um, I think it was probably one of my earliest memories. You know, um, it, what a what a good memory to have. A first sort of yeah, memory yeah. To have. Apparently, I've I'd, I'd been there was a re-release of Bambi, um, in in the year before and apparently my mum said no that was the first film we took you to but i can't i can't remember going to see bambi so wow no. uh yeah so that that, that kind of hit me that either, it, so. it, it, it hit me then <laughs> and, and from then on it was like well why aren't all the other films like star wars <laughs> yeah this is this is true this is true so yeah. obviously like you've come out and seen the film i'm guessing you were wanting the toys no, the, the, well they weren't around they weren't around oh god no they weren't were they no that was a year later no yeah um i think i, I think um i got uh, my, my, well i've i've my, i've done a video on my, my channel about my first figure which was the original r2d2 um okay. that, that was i remember picking that up um i think it was just christmas money the following christmas or or, or, or going out it was definitely I day, wasn't it the, the, yeah the I, I remember going going out um and having a wimpy, a wimpy burger. Remember the wimpy burgers? Yeah. yeah um, wow. And then going to the, the the shop in Chester that I, I grew up was uh, there, there's only three. There was there were um, a, a shop called Toy and Hobby. There was one in mm. Bolton, one in St Helens, and one in Chester. And it was just um, ceiling high of Star Wars, um, you know, and uh, you know, being what like so small you just it's like looking yeah. at a skyscraper of kenner goodness so yeah it's awesome. uh, yeah so i'm guessing that this picture is you oh i forgot i forgot i, I forgot i sent you yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that is me that would have been yes well, well i've got some jedi figures there so that would have been 83 84 That's maybe it, yeah. yeah yeah so I've, I've still got all that i've still yeah. got all that um that is incredible yeah and, and that carpet was always good um for playing uh matchbox cars on because of the, the oh the yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I mean those carpets were commonplace weren't they and the wallpaper and the, the wallpaper days. yeah yeah i've got the De wow. dennis the menace t-shirt and st a stonewashed jeans so yeah um oh, yeah so oh the, I've, that is uh, awesome. I'll, um I reckon that was the, the, that was the second wave of Star Wars figures, so that must have been late '84. That one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm guessing I Star Wars then. <laughs> so I'm guessing Star Wars would have been your your main toy line then. Were you into any other? Um, um, toys yeah, I, I, I. It was funny because um, um, I think when when Empire came out, um, I, I had a lot of toys um and then i remember my mum just putting it all in the attic and mm. um i remember um jedi com coming out and I, I remember getting um who did i get i think it was weekway uh we weekway okay. on, uh, as a figure and i was like mum get back in the attic and get on my the star wars so everything came down again so yeah the, 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 I, it wasn't a break really but um and then and then i moved on to um uh, transformers um okay yeah 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 so i've got i've got like um i don't really i i, I collect i collect um um a few modern transformers but um i i, I haven't opened the floodgates i've, I've got a few but I, i've got a pretty yeah. much full set of um generation one transformers uh, so did you watch like... the uh the cartoon back in the day oh, i, I did hang on a minute I did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, there we go no, so that, that's screen. A... There we there go. You are. That's I'm, I'm missing his gun. I don't know where his gun is. Uh, this this is right. yeah. This is a, 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 a I don't know from maybe from about 2005 onwards. I started getting oh, okay because well, yeah. my my cousins had. Uh, I gave him all, all my my cousins. Uh, Andrew Christopher. I gave all my transformers and boxes. Uh, you wow. the boxes. I gave them all to them, and in about 2005, they they gave them back to me, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh. And the, ev everything was was um, present, if you know what I mean. And then wow. last a couple of Christmases ago, um, and um, 
Andrew was in his mum's attic and he says, I tell you, I, I found all folded up all, all the all these transformer boxes and they're all flattened and they 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 they, they kept they kept them. So I got them all back. <laughs> yes, how cool is that? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So so you watch the I'll take it you, like you said you watched the Transformers cartoons then back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I, I, even going back, I remember going to the, the Transformers, the animated movie. Um, yeah. Although I was, I was twelve. I was sort of coming out out of toys uh, about yeah. about then. So yeah, you, okay. you discover other things, don't you? So yeah, yeah, you do definitely at that age. But so, so I mean, with the Transformers movie, I I haven't seen that for ages, and I remember seeing it as a kid, and I was like, a pretty gutted that they came in. A spoiler a lot of people if you haven't seen transformers the animated movie there's going to be spoilers so uh yeah but they, they came in they just blew away brawn they blew away ironside they blew away ratchet within ratchet, the first wheel jack yeah. well that, wow. that that oh, no, and, and killed Optimus prime and, and replaced him with yeah. uh i replaced him with hot rod <laughs> there we go yeah, wow. so. yeah i don't know what it was kenner's idea um to not kenner hasbro's idea uh, mm. to do a new range of toys. So they thought, oh, okay, let's kill off all the main characters we absolutely adore. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't and, get that. Yeah, replace them. But, but in, in the cartoons um, after the movie, there was like the return of Optimus Prime and everybody sort of came back. Oh. So, oh, yeah. did they? Oh, I, did. I, I, I didn't watch anything after the movies. I was so... I was yeah, no, but to be but honest, they... I, I, I've only just... I, buying them on... A DVD. I, I think I'd only watched like the first two series, and because the animation, the animation sort of lost its, the quality went downhill, and the storylines were a bit. It did, yeah, yeah it definitely, did, yeah, so. definitely. Uh, so, um, yeah. But with it, with that movie, I, I don't. I, I saw bits of it the other week, and I just cannot remember there being so much music in it. Cheesy eighties music in it. Oh I've... yeah, it's uh what's it? Stan Bush, wow. isn't it? You got the touch. You got the touch. Yeah, yeah. I've got the sound I've got the soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. So you you saying that you got to your um twelve thirteen and so by that time you stopped collecting, I'm I'm assuming. So when did you uh, start collecting again then? What age did you come become a collector again or uh, get into it? Don't know. I think it must have been uh, uh, when I was at sort of college. I guess it was. I hadn't. I I, I hadn't. Um, I hadn't tracked. I, I I didn't have a full vintage Star Wars collection, mm. and there was there was always one figure. I mean, people say, "What's your favorite figure?" And there he is. He's, he's on my bra- he's on my branding, and it because I oh, I yeah. this. Red, red snag yeah he's all, he's all on my logos and stuff um i mean he, he's I, I unfortunately I, I sold my blue snag or two uh beginning of lockdown for, oh really for, for cash he was yeah he was a bit of a beta oh, so he wasn't well. as good um yeah. but the, yeah the, this guy it was it was i remember as a kid pick, picking him up in a toy shop and then my mum going i'm not paying one pound twelve for that it's tiny why don't you get a chewbacca so i got a chewbacca and yeah. i remember going in again with my auntie a few months later and picking this up i don't know don't get that you, you haven't got c3po get c3po and then f- from then on i you could never i could i could all the figures in the shops were there i could never find him i could never find oh, well. him and at the age of about 17 uh i used to go to like the antique uh the antique shops and you know you, you go into a, a big room and they'd be like oh there's vintage star wars figures yeah. and um th- there was a guy behind the counter and i'd always go in and say have you got a red snag have you got a red snaggle tooth well he was just snaggle tooth um i didn't even know there was a blue <laughs> yeah. one back then um and he said oh no you, you came in last week and oh and literally this morning we've just sold one and i was like oh, oh no. gutted gutted absolutely gutted and i also saw a, a um we should kick myself for not buying. But for fifteen pounds, there was a, a, a droid's A wing there, and I didn't buy it. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. oh. I, I, I ended up buying um, the the Ralph McQuarrie portfolios, and okay. sort of going out. I was I was driving then. No, I passed my driving test. So I was driving, and, and I went out to the to the car park with what I bought. Thinking, mm. oh, I'll, I'll, I'll prop. I think I gave him a phone number to, to, to call me if we got if there was a red snag or two, and I was just walking um it was a gravel car park you know like crunching on your feet then i saw this red thing on the floor 
And I walked over and I was like, oh my God, that's it, it was him. No and he still, the, he still had the price, he had the price tag on a bit of cord around his neck. So yeah, the guy yeah. who bought the guy who bought him that morning had dropped him in the car park. No way. <laughs> yeah, and I, I found it and, and that and that was that finished my uh well apart from the odd last 17 figures. Yeah, uh, yeah. That that this guy I've been wanting him since I was like what four or five. Um so yeah, I mean he's he's not a great character, he hasn't got much screen presence, but he you know, those sort of cantina, yeah, yeah. those cantina creatures they were so colorful and you know, yeah, they're like they were, star definitely. wars star wars disco uh so yeah you just lie there and i was just like well i'm gonna pick him up and i, I can't find the guy who bought it and i'm not gonna take it back into the shop so uh, <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, wow yeah. Weird, that guy must it? have Weird. been gutted i wonder if he's actually what if he'll ever watch yeah. this video yeah i doubt it but it was, in, it was in Wrexham in North Wales, so if you watch Oh, was him, it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> there he is. I've had him longer now, so there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's incredible. Good God. So, I, I'm i assuming you're interested in games, because... Ooh, yeah, I used to have a Star Wars so, YouTube channel, didn't I? I used to have a Star Wars YouTube so, channel. So, when did you become <laughs> interested in gaming, and what was your first console? Um... Well, my, my first console was um, it was a joint uh, Christmas present for me and my sister, and I think it was 1982. Uh, was the Atari uh, 2600? Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah, the the old that was one with, with the cartridge, the, wasn't it? Yeah, with the wood chip. I don't I don't have yeah. one anymore. Uh, yeah, that was the old uh, sort of with the Atari wood chip on the front. You know, the brown sort of. Yeah, and That's Clinton, it. yeah, so like Pac Man and Dig God. Dug, all those types of games. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I, um, uh, yeah, I, I, was, I think I was still playing that into the sort of mid 80s. And then I got myself a, um, uh, well, in, in the Spectrum world, there we are. They call this, well, this is the 128K Spectrum. Uh, yeah. I think I got it eight, 1987 Christmas. Um, it's it yeah. still works. There's no play button, but it's I, I can still I can still get it to play. Uh, yeah. So this, they call in, in the spectrum world they call this a, a toast rack with, with the tape. They call it because it, okay. it's like a to, like toast. Rack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And um, yeah, I'd, I'd spectrum games. Um, and yeah, last last was it last year? I, I went um, to my mum's. Um, because we had lockdown and stuff, there was there was certain yeah. things uh, like the, like the B wing box and the um, Darth Vader Star Destroyer over there, um, okay. and the Ewok Village, and a, a big box of Spectrum games um, that was in my mum's attic. Um, and since starting my YouTube channel, it's like, oh, I need to I need to get those. I need to get those. <laughs> Um, so it was obviously very nice to see my mum, but I was yeah. Um, she, she'd sort of put it all out for me, ready, like oh, mm. it's all ready in the attic for you. So I came back with all these games, um, and uh, I have got a stop. My channel is predominantly Star Wars, but for the last sort of I don't know, uh, ugh, uh, definitely eight months. I've, I've, every day I put I put out a Spectrum um, little video because. My 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 Star Wars videos, my Transformers videos are, are quite mm. because of I was a sort of professional TV editor. Okay. Um, I used to spend a lot of time on them, write script, do voiceover. Um, that you know, I'd probably spend about five days editing um, and and filming. So you know, they would. Um, but I, it's just having the time and, and uh, the. Mo yeah. I, I do want to get back to Star Wars. Uh, because on my tagline on my 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 YouTube channel, it does say, uh, "I'm on a mission to review everything I had as a child." I hope it takes me years. Um, so yeah, but, but the Spectrum things at the moment, I do the odd, I do a couple of live streams a month, um, mm. and just uh, people actually watch it, Stu. They they come and watch. I'm, I'm terrible at all Spectrum games. I'm terrible, but See, it's, it's I, nice I never heard of Spectrum. I never heard of Spectrum. So. Explain How could you not heard the spectrum? I haven't heard the spectrum. A, so I heard, it's, it's I heard massive, the, the first one you had. Yeah, but so you're saying they're tapes? Yeah. 
How could you have not heard of Spread Did you were you out no, of the country no. in the eighties? I oh listen, I was a deprived did, child. No, I wasn't. Did you a, I wasn't. But, oh, but uh, did you? We were weren't. We did I have a Commodore sixty four or something. No, I, yeah, um, I, oh, I can't remember. No, I think it was. I had the Atari. Yeah, the Atari. I think that was the first. I had, think that was the first one I had. Yeah. And then, but after that, I I wasn't really into sort of gaming. My oh, I suppose, yeah. I mean, you, I suppose if you're not into it, you you yeah. probably doing other stuff. So yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're so... tapes. So they're um, I've I've got yeah you know, one of my favourite games here. Uh, it was the Ro uh, Robocop. Da -da -da. Uh, nice big boxes. So when you say tape, it's like an actual tape cassette, like you would have put in a record yeah. player. That kind that... Yeah, I you actually that's... you put the Look you put that. the tape in the you put the tape in the machine. I've got. I've gone from having no tapes at all to having about two hundred <laughs> tapes on my wow. shelf now. Uh, you, you would type load dot dot you dash dash on your on your spectrum, press yeah. enter and press play, and you would wait maybe any, anywhere between like three minutes up to fifteen minutes, and the game would load, and you were you were away. So, um, so yeah, that, that's how. Long, so when you say the game loads, that's the tape. That's the yeah, it would it? make this horrible like, beep, 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 and you just have to sit there watching this, beep, 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 and it would have like a oh, loading okay. screen. A picture of Robocop would come up, and okay. then there'd be some nice, you know, like Spectrum music, and then you you would play really. So that's um, incredible. The the big the big games are my favorite. These are my two favorite. Oh, games. hang on, who's this? Is that Trapdoor? Tra Trapdoor, yeah, oh, yeah. Jeez, yeah. um, wow. Yeah, um, and because people people are sending me stuff now. <laughs> Uh, uh, Chris, oh, Chris, yeah, yeah this hello. There you go. Yeah, I didn't know these existed, wow. but um, yeah, people are sending me these now. So awesome, funny old thing. Um, yeah. yeah, I was going to say because my, my friend he had um he got the first uh, uh, Nintendo that came out. Yeah, I never had an. All the posh kids had Nintendos. <laughs> he was an only child, so yeah. But he had yeah, the, the... Nintendo, and we what did we play? We played um an NFL game, which I had absolutely no clue because I didn't have a clue about NFL. Yeah, and then there was a we we played golf, and that was that was oh, too golf bad game. the golf game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. other than that, I I never really sort of played games until I got the first Xbox that came out. Xbox when oh, that was in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two thousand two. Was in the... yeah. that two thousand and two? The original, yeah, the original Xbox was two thousand and two. Oh no, <laughs> PlayStation. I'm thinking of PlayStation. Oh, because oh the PlayStation, PlayStation came out earlier. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. With the PlayStation, oh, I loved that. I used to play. Um, what was it? There was a, there was an Alien game which I quite enjoyed. Oh, I've got them and down then, here, Steve. Um, <laughs> have you? Let's have a look. Yeah, I'll get those up on screen. Oh, they're somewhere down here. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't expected to talk about PlayStation. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, I, okay. I, I was with me and my mate at university. Um, we were weird because we had we had the PlayStation um, nine months before it got released in the UK. Because we, really? we we cl we clubbed together and spent our spent some of our student loan, yeah. And we got the the Japanese PlayStation, and because it had it had small because the Japanese guys have got smaller hands, they had really yeah. small controllers. Um, so yeah, I'm sure. Got, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so so everybody else that's was the playing. One. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, I love yeah. that Alien trilogy. Yeah, Alien geez. trilogy, like the Demolition Derby, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was funny that summer going home from university. All, all my mates were um, still playing on on their Super Nintendos and um, um, Sega Mega Drives, and then yeah. I brought this. I brought this thing. Says you got to see the you got you got to see this lads. And because there wasn't well, the internet had just started. No one was on it. And said, but Sony have made it. Oh, it's, oh, it's done a CD. That's going to be crap. And I put it on. I think we played. Um, I think I played Demolition Derby and Wipeout. And they were like, "Oh my god!" It's like, where did you get yeah, this from? It's like, good, yeah. Japan. I got it from Japan. It's like, how much does it cost? It cost us six hundred quid. <laughs> so we went three hundred pounds each. Wow. You see. Um. So yeah, but then I got into. Uh, before then, I was into. I've, I've got uh, above me there. I've got. About ninety Sega Mega Drive games as well. So I was. Oh god, yeah. Do you yeah, remember the like, Sega? I remember that as well. Yeah, like it was, um, of Rage. I think there was that. That was before Sega was before um, PlayStation, wasn't it? Yeah, you had the Se Sega. No, not PlayStation. So, so, hang on, so yeah, Sega was before PlayStation. Yeah, and then PlayStation, and then Xbox came along. 
yeah and then you got like i think i think x the xbox and playstation it was 2002 was a, a busy year because the xbox original came out mm. the playstation 2 came out and the nintendo gamecube as well um but i, I went yeah. for the i went for the nintendo gamecube <laughs> so. oh wow okay <coughs> so i mean Any... so, all in all how many games do you reckon you've got then all in all uh, you with everything that you've got game wise. Oh my god, what modern games as well. God, I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh to be honest, I don't really play that much modern games anymore. I, I'm really? in the nostalgia, the spectrum. I've got a I've got a Raspberry Pi, so I play a lot of um the NES and the SNES and the, and the Mega Drive on yeah. there. Uh I did a count the other day and I I did and I've got nearly 200 spectrum games and i've got just sure. under 100 wow. 100 sega mega drive games so well so you say you don't play many modern day games which modern day console do you have uh i've still got the xbox one okay yeah I'm, i i haven't upgraded yet uh my, my, my boy's taken over that now it, you know he's got his, yeah. he's got he's got his nintendo switch it's it's um oh, I, I do i do i do play i do play the odd, or, you know, the odd modern games, but yeah, um, I'm just mad. I've just played these old crappy Spectrum games. <laughs> well, no, it, it's not mad, is it? It's just like collectors. I mean, a lot of them collect a lot of the older stuff from the 80s and stuff like that because of the, uh, the nostalgia pool. Nostalgia, so I'm yeah. guessing that would be exactly the same with gaming. I mean, yeah, yes, well, I... the advances in gaming uh, as the yeah. years have gone on have got a lot better. But uh, yeah, the graphics are, are amazing. They look like yeah, movies, yeah. but are, are, are just because it's got good graphics and it looks like a movie. Is the game any more enjoyable than a game you played 20 years ago, 30 years ago? Yeah. And I always say, Stu, um, you can put a classic album on, I don't know, put a Led Zeppelin album on, uh, mm. I don't know, um, uh, an AHA album, uh, Status Quo. Uh, AHA? Uh, uh, well, no, yeah, I'm a you, you, weren't an, you weren't into AHA, were you? Yeah, I've seen them live. They're great when they did a retail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, yeah, but you can put every, you can put a classic album on, and it it, it transfers yeah. it transfers you back to that time when you maybe yeah, first bought does, the album, yeah. Yeah. or that nostalgia. But I can I can play a, a Spectrum game or a uh, a Sega game, and it it's like that you get that same. It takes you back. Do you know what I mean? That yeah, nostalgia. Yeah. It takes you back. You, some, sometimes you can smell the smells, and it's, I don't know. It's century, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you saying you you like Daha? I mean, I've been listening to a lot of um, early Madonna. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, you know, stuff yeah, from the but... uh, the eighties and stuff like that. Bit of Material Girl and uh, yeah, Lucky got, Star got, and all that I, sort of stuff. I so think, I think I've got a true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, I've got a true blue album down there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm buying it. <laughs> so yeah. So, right, with your collection that you currently have, do you have a prized piece in your collection? Um, something that you wouldn't part with? Something that you yeah, never... Yeah, but never I, I bought it for with. a fiver off my mate in um, about 87. Okay. And um, it's, it's, it's probably, it definitely in the UK, it's a bit of a, a holy grail. And okay. it's, it's very... I'll, I'll just swing around and get it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Got him. Here we, here we, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh uh, the old. Oh, look at that. Palat oh, get it on. Palatoid Death Star. Oh. Uh, yeah, my mate, my mate. Um, he was he was selling this Star Wars stuff to. Um, oh, that is awesome. Um, he was selling this Star Wars stuff to to buy Transformers, and I was buying Transformers. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but he just got into Transformers, and I was he was like, oh, Tess, do you want to buy this? I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Just had a bit of pocket money um, or birthday money left over, and I bought it for five quid. Um, oh, it's, God. It's pretty much, it is pretty much complete, apart apart from I'm missing the the the, uh, the circle around the top gun there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And um, the, the, the pegs where you, you peg it in. To secure it, I, I'm sort of missing. So, so has that has that been has that been opened? Have you opened that? Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah, you have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've, the, the flap for this is inside. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh no, yeah. it's not. Oh no, it was played. It was played. It was played with. Um. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, that that's that's. Yeah, that that's the kind of wow thing. Like, you get like the, I don't know, the the, the boiler, the boiler man come around to fix the boiler and. You know, oh, 
it's good. oh you've got some new to star wars oh yeah come up come up here and you know oh wow I've, you've got that you know <laughs> even they even they know that that's quite quite a prize so that is uh, do you, i mean that, that your friend that sold it to you do you ever speak have you do you still stay in contact with him are you in contact with him still or he's, he's not on facebook but i spoke to his brother and he, yeah. he passed the, the photographs on and he was just glad that you know that I still had it and was looking after it. Yeah. Um, so he's he's not kind of regretting it then that he's no it. no I don't think he's collecting. Uh, no. But this was another one I I always wanted as a kid was the um, what we got this here. Uh, the 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 the, the oh blimey cantina. yeah look at that yeah, yeah. Oh. that was all that was always one I wanted in the shops but this this yeah. was um, eBay I got it off eBay oh mm. god like probably twenty years ago now so. Yeah, I just, I just, I just love that that scene in Star Wars. Yeah, uh, in the can that cantina, it was, it was that's so prevalent with me. It's, mm. you know, it's the first time you saw a lightsaber. It yeah. was, wasn't it? You know, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, ben Kenobi gets the lightsaber out, and oh, you know, I think George Lucas saw he's kind of poo poos the um, some of the creatures in there, and they were like off, off yeah, the shelf yeah. masks and stuff. But I, 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 I love that scene. It's one of the yeah, scenes. I wish they would have kept Wars, it. It was, yeah, they but, it, should they? They shouldn't have um, mod, uh, yeah. updated it. it. It's kind of like you know, you saw you saw spaceships and stuff, and you yeah. saw um, a few Death Star scenes, but it was like, oh my god, there's like there's all these creatures in Star Wars, mm. which are fascinating, and um, yeah. Do you remember seeing any of those Star Wars items in the shops? Because I, when I was old enough to appreciate going out and getting a figure, it was mainly. The last remnants of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi figures. So I never really got to see any figures or vehicles in Star Wars boxes. It was always like the yeah. Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Um, I remember seeing. Well, I, I remember seeing the Cantina, but it was the it was the Palatoy Cantina. Okay. Um, yeah, it was the Palatoy one, and um, I don't know if you can see there. I've got the um, the uh, oh, Land of the Jedi. Land of the Jowers, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that, yeah, but that was the that, that was the Palatoy one as well. So it was the box was different, um, and um, and also up there, you, you can see the B wing. You see the B wing up there. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I've I've got the B wing box. It's a bit battered, but I've yeah, I got that for a I, I got that for a song. I got uh, I was in New York in I, it's, it's my it's my New York story. Oh, I've just knocked over jet fire. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I was in it was in New York, um, and I went into FA, FOA Swartz because someone said, "Oh, they've got an, an antique department at, at FOA FOA Swartz," which you know, you know, in in the film um, in Big where they play, they dance on the piano. Oh yeah, Hank. yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's an amazing, it's an amazing, it's an amazing toy store. And I went in there into the antiques, and I saw it in, in they had these big wooden cabinets. And I said, oh, I, I think it, I think it was going for in two thousand and five. It was going for about hundred hundred and fifty five dollars. Wow. And I said, oh, can I have a look at it? I've got I've got all this money to to spend on it. Uh, and and they got it out, and it, and it had um, um, they said they said oh it's complete, but it wasn't. They they had two two of the wing the, the the guns on the side were missing. Okay. Um, the canopy was cracked. Oh wow. um, yeah. It had instructions for a Y wing, and um, there was something else missing. Oh, some some of the some of the um, the cardboard inserts. So he, okay. he was, this guy was really apologetic. Oh, oh, it's, 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 and we looked on eBay because um, eBay was you could just you, you could it was a time when you could start looking at your, uh, eBay yeah. on your phone before yeah. before smartphones, and. Um, he said, "Well, I'll, I'll knock, I'll knock some, I'll, I'll knock some, some cash off for you if you really want to buy it." I said, "Well, yeah, oh, yeah, I want to take it back to the UK and all this." And um, I, we went to the tills, and he, he kind of on the computer, and he said, "I, I can give you that for eighty-five dollars." And I was like, well, "Okay." So I, I, <laughs> yeah. I effectively, I effectively yeah. got it for for thirty-eight quid. That is awesome! <laughs> wow, quid. that is unbelievable. Yeah, it's not thirty-eight yeah. quid these days. No, it's not the equal these days, though. God, Jesus. Oh. So, do you have a grail piece? Is there something in that you would like above everything else? Whether it be uh, like what, um, that, that, that I haven't it, got it, that you haven't got yet. Yeah, whether it could be a um, a console um, game, a figure, a vehicle. I would, 
I would like to get a, a blue snaggletooth again because okay. um, I, I, I kind of a bit gutted that I sold that. Uh, it's, it's just a, a means to an end, really. Um, but to be honest, the prices are crazy. No, um, they just. Yeah. I might have to get a stand solo. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, I, I did, there's I, no shame in it. There's no shame so in it. I'm I would wrong. get a stand solo because one, I've had one, and I've got I've got pictures of them. Um, yeah, I, yeah I'd, I'd probably get myself a blue snag. And there's a, there's a few things which I haven't got. Um, Playset wise, is the is the Droid Factory? You know where you could build. Okay, with yeah, the, that's the yeah, yeah. Have you got Have you yeah. got that, Stu? Have you, have you no, got one of those? No, no, no. It's getting all the pieces. Um, yeah. And Scuba Pete, actually, because th th there's there's a few play sets I need. There was the, um, like the 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 Sears best pin carbon chamber, the, you know the cardboard best pin. Yeah, play set. that's it. Yeah, there's that as well. Yeah. <coughs> and um, what's the other one? Um, Echo, Echo Base, the Sears Echo, yeah. Echo Base, the, yeah, the one with that. the the cardboard one, and yeah. the other one, yeah. Scuba Pete sent to me. Oh, go on. It was. Just, I've got. I've got something. To, I've got something to show you. And this. This only okay, came a couple of months screen. ago. It might. It might fall apart. Oh, gee, we're gonna get. Oh, oh look at that! Oh, yeah. wow! I need to send this. Do you know Vintage Dave? Vintage Toy Rush. Yes. Yes, I do. I yeah. met him the other Saturday, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm gonna. I've, I've agreed to send this. To, he's a bit busy at the moment, so I'm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's. It's just a bit. Whoa. It needs a whoa, bit of wow. love. Yeah. Um, and I've seen I've seen Dave. I mean, I, I could probably do it, but it'd be it'd be nice to um, to, you know, to give it to Dave, and he can make a nice video out, video out of it. Yeah, yeah, sure, that is um, cool. Yeah, that is so cool. So, yeah, so yeah, that was a complete surprise off Scuba Pete. So, wow, that is awesome. Yeah, Absolutely it's a awesome. bit battered, but it's nice to have. It's nice to have one. It's nice for, for see Scuba as. Pete. as as, as a kid, well, Scuba Pete's just quality anyway, isn't it? I mean, yeah, he's a, yeah. a big old, big old honker. Love that bloke, but yeah, yeah. What a, what a top guy. But as a kid, I was always into vehicles, and I wasn't too into the play sets because I thought, at the, at, even at that age, I thought they were like more display pieces, and you couldn't, yeah, really yeah, play too much with yeah. them. So, but I mean, yeah, I've what? I've got myself a couple of the Stan Solo figures because like, one of them is the Luke in Stormtrooper. Um, yes. because the, the, like you say the prices on on, on ebay now on the secondary market nuts. you know it's just they aren't i i can't justify yeah. paying that kind of money so but yeah i think i need about five or six of the uh figures from the last 17 but last i mean 17. i might be getting from from stan Sider, yeah, yeah get I, start, get, I, I, well I, I i sold um i sold scuba pete uh, an anaman staff <laughs> but okay yeah um yeah but you can it's like you can get them off stan solo's website for like yeah yeah, you know, like twenty quid. So I'll, I'll probably get. You yeah. know, I'm not. I'm not. You know, it's it's it, it's funny because I remember going into. Um, uh, it must have been. I was I was collecting Transformers. And I pretty much stopped collecting Star Wars. So I think it must have been like late eighty five and or maybe early eighty six. Uh, going into Woolworths and just seeing. Oh, the yeah. they're like what they brought out. They brought out some more figures. Um. And I kind of like, oh, okay, that's that's fair enough. And then a, a few months later, when sort of Star Wars was dying out, went mm. back went back in, and there was a big bargain bin full of the last seventeen, and they were all 49 p forty nine p. Oh, 49p, 49p, oh my life! And like, I picked Don't, you're up. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I picked up eleven of them. Eleven of them. That's under a tenner. <laughs> and, 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 and you and you still have those. You still have I those, still, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've sent you that picture, didn't I? That's that, the that, picture. That's yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, yeah. So that's where you got them from. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, but there, there, there were things I didn't have, like some of the Ewoks. I had to um, had to pick up off. Mm. You know, they were off eBay. And then the, the last one to finish my seventeen um, was bought off. Uh, Oh, was brought down here in Plymouth. Oh, yeah. It's the worst one, really, isn't it? It's it's the worst one. It's, yeah, it's, it's my only. Boring, but... It's boring. It's my only. Um, it's my only um, vintage uh, figure. I bought it from Jules uh, Bert, who's who's used to, he used to run a, um, a a shop down here called Purple Haze. Okay. I think I paid, I think I paid about one hundred and ten pounds for it. Um, so, yeah. 
And this one's wow. weird because it, it uh, you don't even see, it, it, this figure didn't come with a blaster. But he's got a blaster there. there, is he? Look at that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a miss. It was a miss pack. Oh it was wow. A miss pack. Yeah. <laughs> bizarre. Um, bizarre. So yeah, it's got he's got a Luke blast, uh, Luke Palace blaster in there. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so that, that was my. I was going to say, it's definitely a toss-up between him and the Anakin Skywalker for the most boring figure. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pretty, pretty much the, the worst. I think like the, <laughs> the best one, the best ones are like the, the Imperial Gunner, a, 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 yeah, a man a man cool. yeah, uh, L L L Stormy Luke, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. no, they are cool. Yeah. I've got to say, they are cool. Like, I, I mm. wish I'd have got the. Um, you said you saw it for fifteen quid. Um, the uh, the A wing. I really that is my holy grail. I would yeah, I know. I, was, I, I, I didn't realize it's like they've got an A wing droid. I remember watching the cartoon. I thought, oh, I don't want to get that. I've got yeah. the power of the force 2 one, but um, it's just yeah. pretty much the same yeah. mold, isn't it? But yeah, that's it. Yeah, different yeah. claims, right? So, Tez, I'm assuming I've got some photographs or, or some pictures here for you. Yeah, I'm assuming you drew these, did you? Oh. Uh. No, that that that's just w oh. when I get bored. When I get, I take I take lots of photographs. Okay. Um, I, you, you, these are off Instagram, aren't they? Uh, yeah, that, yeah. That's, um, <laughs> yeah, that's just done on. I, I I take a photograph and I put. I, I've got various different sort of art apps. Uh, oh, apps okay. On my phone, I, and I put. I, you know, yeah. I put. I I I do a, I play the filters and then. Oh, there we go. Well, I put it through another app and then build up this build up the textures sort of thing on it so okay yeah this one here yeah i saw these and i thought you drew them and i was like wow you, 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 you oh yeah of course i drew it. of course i drew them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no a lot of people well, say that it, it's yeah so, then there's that one as well that's um what's his name in it is it ravage uh, Ra Ra ravage yeah yeah yeah, so yeah. he's pretty no cool. i didn't I did, like, yeah yeah they're quite nice though <laughs> so what about this did you draw this i drew that one that was an art college oh, thing. oh yeah. i'm glad you said that look at that yeah that that, yeah, that there's a, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's it's copied, um, you know, eye for eye sort of thing. Well, yeah, um, I mean, you, 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 I didn't think it was going to be traced. Yeah, traced it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that is yeah, that, so that, awesome. You, I, I take it you like the alien, then, do you? Oh, I love, I love, I, I, I love them. Uh, it, even even the, well. the new, even the new ones are all right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, Queen chess person. I forgot. I put those on Instagram. Yeah, so that is that, oh yeah, that is awesome. Oh, that is okay, absolutely yeah. awesome. This this one this one's my favourite. I mean, that is so detailed. Yeah, uh, I think um, China Graph and um, Pilot uh, ink, ink on that Indian Ink. I'm trying to be like Sai, uh, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, not not as good as him though. But uh, yeah. what, what Simon draws does he? Oh, so man, man, fan, um, man, Fandanga, yeah. Yeah, uh, Shabby's brother. Shabby's brother. Yeah, that's what oh, he's okay. famous for. Have you not seen his stuff? He doesn't put. He no. doesn't bloody put it on Instagram. No, his stuff is 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 fantastic. He's always he's always giving them away in in on my streams and stuff. Yeah, that's so, what, that's sort of his living really. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I know Shabby does the um, makes the uh, all the furniture and stuff like that. That's, oh yeah, um, but, yeah, they're amazing. He's a very very talented yeah. brothers. They are. Um, oh, also, I didn't realize that. So you you say you like the um the new alien sort of movies then? Not really. <laughs> uh, they're, they're all right. Uh, they I'm kind talking of about connect. Just um, Covenant. I, I can sit down and enjoy them, but they don't really connect. They're, they've I don't know where it's no. going. Disney Disney's bought them now. Um, Rid Ridley Scott. I don't know what his involvement is. They need. They just needed to make maybe one and connect it to Alien, maybe, or maybe yeah. we didn't need to know that stuff at all. Sometimes um, it's best, isn't it, that you don't know? Yeah, that's the mystery of it. Yeah, it, it kind of the mystique's gone, isn't it? That, that's why yeah. I like Alien, the first movie, Alien, so much, is because I love the way they did that. I love the way you filmed that. That was awesome. Yeah, you, you don't see the alien that much. If a few frames no, exactly. here, and yeah. you know, you, you don't see it in full frame that much. Uh, mm. That makes it more mysterious in my my book. So yeah, well, it's a bit like They're Jaws, all, isn't yeah. it? The shark in Jaws. I mean, everybody's seen a shark before, but you didn't see that particular shark. Well, yeah, well, you, I was scared of them yellow barrels and jaws because yeah. it was the barrels that came up. Well, the shark broke, yeah, yeah. didn't it? So yeah. they thought, well, yeah. how can we show the shark if I shiny shark? So it was a case of, well, get 
we're using inflatable barrels as uh, the, yeah. the menace, so the danger. You say you're, you, you say you're into editing and stuff like that in films and and and, and whatnot. What? Do, how do you find modern day films then compared to the films of like say the late seventies, early eighties? Um, I, I still, I, you know, I, I still like, I, I enjoy my Marvel, um, that kind of stuff. I, I, you know, I, I even like the kind of like the new matrix movie <laughs> i thought it was okay I've, I've, I've not seen that so uh well i i watched it a long time after it came out and ignored all the, okay. the naysay it was all right uh but yeah i think i think um a modern day film is 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 i, I don't know it, it's kind of i'm enjoying it uh but it's kind of tendering to an audience we're not it, you know a, a, a more di a more diverse audience maybe uh with different yeah. genders um uh, I, I get a lot of sticks saying i quite kind of enjoyed the the she hulk series i thought it was fun oh yeah but, i didn't mind it my wife enjoyed but it, it yeah but it was all it was very woke and um yeah, yeah. I, I i don't know i think i think the way modern i i just you take people like george lucas who had a vision and that he was in charge yeah. And the problem with the, these new Star Wars films, and some of the series in 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 in, in, in some of the cases, uh, that that they're, they're created by committee. Uh, yeah. They're created by lawyers. Um, they're ticking boxes, um, and you, you need that. Like Peter Jackson, he he you know he he, he wanted to make the the Lord of the Rings movie. He had full control yeah. over that he took it to so, yeah. so much so he took it to new zealand and, and he, yeah. yeah i don't I, it's I, I, it's it's funny because you don't I, I can't see a director having that full control anymore do, do you know what i mean that all that control yeah, yeah. 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 and and you know maybe maybe someone like quentin tarantino should make a star wars movie do you know what i mean cool. maybe, oh, maybe yeah, yeah it, it's just yeah, I, I I really 2015 when um, uh, the Force Awakens came out, I, mm. I I really enjoyed it. It was a bit of a reboot, mm. a bit of a, a yeah. rehash of the original. Uh, mm. But that 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 period between um, uh, Force Awakens and the Last Jedi, that 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 before Last Jedi came out. I, I, the all, the most stuff I used to watch on YouTube was about who's Snoke, who's Ray, who's yeah. Finn. Is he a Jedi? Oh, that was so exciting! That was so yeah. exciting. Thought, oh, this I can't wait for the next movie to come out. And then they just threw the bath and the baby water out the window <laughs> and messed it all up. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, th I, I mean, think a lot of people agree with you with with that. I think a lot of people. I, are can, I can still thing, sit down and enjoy Last Jedi um, mm. for what it is. Um, and then last Jedi, uh, poor poor old JJ had to sort of um, yeah undo and retcon stuff that he wasn't expecting to do because suddenly, Stu somehow the Emperor has returned. <laughs> you see, the now power... listen, if they if they had started with that in the Force Awakens, then you it, it might have been a bit yeah. more understandable. You yeah. know what I mean? If there had been a hint it, of him in the Force Awakens, sort of but cut in, wasn't it? Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I, 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 I think a lot of films these days. I, I think a lot of them are going for more of the look, the style, the CGI, the um, appealing to certain groups and stuff like that, as opposed to actually telling a story. A story, yeah. A give me a good story, story. If you've got a good story, you don't need all the. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All the magic and stuff like that. I mean. I mean, E.T., Close Encounters, then you had... Um, yeah, what else Raiders, you had? things like that. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Jaws. You know, all these films were... were they're classic films, and they were well-made, and they were well-written, because they had yeah. people who understood how to tell a story. And, and then yeah. have... I mean, like, Star Wars was groundbreaking for the time. But then before then, you had, like, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Yeah. Um, th th that wasn't bad. I mean, I didn't mind that. It was it was you know futuristic. It wasn't. I didn't mind that film. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Well. I mean, George Lucas. Uh, he he. he uh, uh, when I used to work as an editor, uh, I used to, I used to work on a an a, a, a system an editing system which is still 
used in Hollywood and TV every day. It's called Avid. Yeah. It's like the, 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 the non-linear editing software where you can, it took away from going through tapes and stuff. And mm. George Lucas in, George Lucas got those guys in to make that. You know, yeah, he, no, he, invented, he invented, not like people edit on their Final Cut Pro or their, their Premiere, yeah. people edit on their phones. He, 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 George Lucas laid the groundwork for that. And um, that that's why things films can be made quicker, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. You've got a YouTube channel, uh-huh. and uh, so so <laughs> what made you decide to do a YouTube channel, and who were your influences? Um, well, I didn't know anybody. All the guys in the community now. I, I didn't. I think I probably watched. I used to watch Boss Bounty, but I never used to comment. Yeah. Um yeah. and uh, uh, Michael from Retro Blasting, um, but um, I've, yeah, it was kind of like in in lockdown. Um, uh, yeah, we, we were sat on our hands. We didn't have much to do, mm-hmm. and I went into uh, uh, this this room here was just full of like clutter. Uh, okay, not 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 my collection. Now I had everything in the attic. All my Star Wars boxes up yeah, there were were were, 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 in, were in bin. Were, they were all wrapped up in black bin bags and on a shelf in the attic. Yeah, yeah. And my figures were down because used to play with the boy with the figures and stuff like that and a few ships. But mm. I, just, I thought I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all these, these spaceships and play sets down that I've got and have a look at them because I've not I didn't really have. Uh, when I got married, I put them all away. I was told to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, well, you, know, you meet you, you met girlfriend. Oh, why are you collect Star Wars? I had I had I, I, my old house. I had it like, all all the shelf. Wow, this is amazing, amazing. You get married, put it all away. Um, <laughs> sorry, a little bit. Um, but yeah, well, I I just got got them all down. I I also got my Mega Drive down as well, and okay. I had I had, it, I had a few Spectrum games as well. And I was like, mm. oh, my wife actually said you you've always wanted to do a YouTube channel, and because I used to edit ten hours a day five yeah, days a week yeah. for 25 years i'd never mm. felt i had time i didn't want to come home and start editing on something so i just thought well i've got this free time and it was a toss-up between shall i be a retro gamer youtuber shall i do sega mega drive videos or spectrum videos and i thought no i, I I'll, I'll, I'll i'll my first my first video was my star wars death star i thought i'll, I'll just okay. make it make a video out of that and yeah throw some funny voices into it put some music on it put some funny clips into it and, and because it was um you know the, the death stars sort of uh, you know it's a bit of a grail for people i was like oh my god i've got like 60 views in a in a day what what's going on <laughs> i mean i, I awesome. guess we, we were we were in lockdown and people had more time yeah. and i was and mm. then people started commenting i was like who, who are these people and then i thought well i'll i'll, I'll I'll get onto Twitter and I'll put my next video and I'll advertise it through Twitter. And mm. I, I sort of, I, I was never, I was never really on Twitter. I had an account, same with Facebook. I didn't, I just used to look. Yeah. Um, and like Instagram as well. It was, uh, and then suddenly all these people started talking to me like, like Shabby, Matt and Boss, ba- oh, Tim Boss Bounty's comments. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> And oh my god, Retro Blasting's made a comment on my video. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. And then it just blew up from there, really. And it, it's a good because because I've got such a tiny room here. Um mm. a, a lot of my display is sort of um rotated, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so I just thought well, what an excellent way to show off my collection than putting yeah. in a YouTube video. And I wasn't I wasn't doing it for view. I wasn't doing it for views or uh, to make money or anything because you, yeah. you don't make money if you choose for it as lot. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it was the, the, the sort of influx of followers and people on Twitter and Facebook mm-hmm. and Instagram. It's like, oh, God, there's, there's people out there exactly like me, same sort of age. Um, you know, and, and then we... we um, uh we, we i started doing this live streaming with the pally boys um i don't know if you ever watched that way back when at the beginning no, of lockdown no. we used to do a star wars live a vintage star wars live stream okay 
ev- yeah. every day, every day, Stu. Wow. Uh, for wow. about five months, I didn't do it because I, I, I was I got a job in as a support worker. Yeah. So I, yeah. But like Matt Shabby, um, Super Awesome Geek Show, John and Darth Mark, we were just sat there at eight o'clock, not till ten o'clock, doing a daily stream um and then um things took a turn as if you get a bit of drama in youtube and stuff and oh, people right, fall yeah, out yeah. uh and then it was kind of um there was the, there was the decision to should we, should we stay with the pally boys or should we move on and do something else so me 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 matt and, Sh- and shabby were well, should we, should we just do a live stream and 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 and, and they didn't have Shabby and Matt didn't have a, a, the decent you know a decent enough computer or whatever yeah uh, to set that so I just thought well I'll, I'll do one see how it goes people know my face um and and then it just went on from there really and what we're, we're on episode seventy eight this Friday so wow wow yeah. It's always, I mean, I've got to say, you three do work really well together, and you, you know, yeah, we, my wife even enjoys watching you guys as well. Yeah, so, well, I mean, we don't, we, we don't, we don't, we don't really plan anything. We'll, you know, maybe, maybe tomorrow Matt will ring up and go, Who are we getting on this week? and they'll all ask people and, and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, no, no, it's quality, it's, it's yeah. awesome. And I I've think, got to say, they're yeah, gone. The, the thing, the thing that I, I, I used to watch, I used to watch, um, a lot of. Uh, youtube streams uh about anything really and i, I was always yeah. kind of like before youtube doing the channel myself i, I was always a bit sheepish about typing something into the chat and mm. and then i oh i've asked a really nice question oh oh they've just ignored it i was like, oh i'm a bit well never mind maybe no one likes me um and and then the, the thing about usr um uh, you know the shabby reviews is that we, we we like to you know someone asks something we like to show the chat on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe too much sometimes. <laughs> maybe too much sometimes. But it's nice when someone new comes in and and we oh here's someone new come in or oh, like is his um, Darth Doodah whatever you know someone yeah. new come in, and we put their name on and and then next week they're there and you know you get get that nice community. So well, I I because I hadn't been doing I hadn't been um I hadn't been doing YouTube for long and uh, the only person I'd really ever sort of like done a live stream with was was scuba pete yeah and uh and then shabby messaged me on instagram one day saying did i want to be on you and i was like oh well yeah and i, I, I just yeah. like wow you know and i, I was I, I was like oh wow yeah yeah why not and then obviously I, I <laughs> you were the big you boys down, but... <laughs> yeah, well, no, that's, how it felt. that's how it felt <laughs> but that's how it felt to me and i was like yeah wow, this, this guy they don't know me yet he's been really kind and cool and he's asked me to come on his you know, on your live stream and i was like oh, i absolutely yeah. loved it absolutely loved it no, so, it, was yeah, great. No, it was great everyone right. i remember the um i made you laugh talking about the uh the six inch willy yes the uh the the jones willy figure yeah 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 no but yeah. honestly you 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 guys you've worked so well uh together and i i've you know i've i've um i've actually you know shabby's been on this uh series and and so is so is matt so, uh, so is matt yeah 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 so, no, it's yeah, it's just awesome. It's awesome. No, right, it's I've got that, two it's more good that you're going, going gone. through and get, it's good that you're going through and get you know you get you get in the you're ticking the, the the guys off the you know who's who's next and all that kind of it's good, yeah. Well, you know. I mean, uh, listen, I when I first started this series, I didn't think I was going to get past the first one or two episodes because mm. I I didn't know that many people. Not many people knew me, and uh, the first couple of three or four people I I kind of knew, which was uh, Chris Miwa from Chasing Eighties Toys, Bob yeah, Hanson. Chris. Boba Obvious. Hicks and uh, Tim from Boss Bounty, yeah. and I was so um, over the moon that he'd said yes because you know yeah. I, I was just like a small channel. Like I still am, um, but he said yes, and I was like, oh wow, this is the guy that I've sort of like watched a lot, and he's like, yeah, it's, you know, bad, he isn't it? it's, bad. it's fantastic. And he gave me a really great bit of advice, and that advice was, don't ask people to contact me to get on to the channel. You reach out to them. He said, you reach yeah. out to them and ask them. And I was like, oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know these people. He said, just to... so I've, I've reached out to people and I shit you not. I've, I've got booked up to episode 55 now. 
Bloody, yeah, well, yeah, that's good. That's yeah, the best way crazy. to do it. It's, it's, so that, it's not, so, not, not to be scared. It's just then no, you just realize, re realize these people are just like, you know, we're all mad people yeah. in our 40s collecting toys. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't it wasn't that I was I was scared. I, 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 it was I, I didn't have like that much confidence. I wasn't confident enough to go and ask these people who've mm. been doing this. I mean, because it's time consuming. I know that. And I know people are busy. And I was always not scared yeah. of rejection. But my, like, so, I mean... 99% of the people that I've asked have got back to me one way or the other. Either yeah. say, yes, I'd love to do it, or no, it's not for them. And I look, look I, I get that. And there's there's a few people that haven't sort of like replied, but yeah, listen, I'm not going to push. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay yeah. with that. That's, that's cool. And but also, yeah, also so... because I, 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 I use Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram is probably my, my least used social net, uh, network. Yeah. If, if I don't reply, it's like, oh God, Stu text me something two days ago, and I haven't because I don't I don't check. No, 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 no. I don't I'm always on Twitter. And my wife's always saying, "Get off Twitter." Yeah, see, <laughs> see, Twitter. I, 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 I won't go on Twitter. So, you know, well, thing but, thing is, it's I can understand why people don't want to go on Twitter because it's it, there's a lot of negativity. But if you if you yeah. if you don't hit the the main feed button and stay away with, just, I, I just hit hit the bell and see. You know, you talk to Shabby all the time, and, and yeah. every you know, I, I just stay in that sort of bubble on Twitter. So yeah, I, mm. yeah, I do get into trouble well, sometimes. But, but, on Facebook I, 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 I might, things. I might venture into 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 yeah. Twitter. I, I might yeah. do, but yeah. Anyway, I've got two questions left for you. Right. Here we go. What gives you that toy collecting buzz? Um, well, like collecting back in the it, day, it, or. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you can. I, I, I don't know. I think it's. I, I think it's. Or... I think it's just the. Um, uh, probably the nos nostalgia for, for for Star Wars and Transformers. I think. Um, mm. I think it's that. You know, so, sometimes I, I just come in here for no apparent reason. You probably do this as well, Stu. Uh, and yeah. you just look at your shelf and just go, mm. and like you might, oh, oh these guns not in it. He's not at the right angle. That's better. Yeah. Oh, he's there. We go. Oh, he's turning that way. That's better. Oh, put put him in that. Put him to the left of the ship. That's better. It's all that. It's all that stuff. Yeah. It's all that. It's yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't do much like pre-orders. If if I if I was still working in TV, uh, I'd have a much bigger house, a much bigger room, and a much bigger collection. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, yeah, I only, I, I only just seem to buy, I mean, I, I get the old black series. I get the, um, the vintage collection. I, I don't see myself as a completionist. Um, it's, it's just the, I just collect what, what I like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. What yeah. boats me boat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, that's, that's a simple way of doing it. I mean, it, it's, I've always said it, collections or collecting is a, is a personal preference. There's no right yeah. way of doing it. There's no wrong way of doing it. People yeah. like what they like. You know, if you don't like something, then fine. You, you don't. What I, what it gets me is when people don't like something and they keep banging on about they don't like it when it's rubbish and and then they turn around and say, well, you shouldn't be liking it either. No, oh, 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 oh. you know, it's yeah. I like what I I, like, I, you know? I do have a bit of a dig at um, pop figures. Do you collect pop figures? Oh, okay. Do you I, well, no. No, no, no. Oh, my I, wife does. All oh, right. No, I li I like them, but there's just too many. I I always say, yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I'm I'm an inbox pop collector, as in I leave them in the box on the shelf in the shop, <laughs> and I've got a full <laughs> collection. They're all out yeah. there. I just haven't got them. all out there. Yeah, I've got loads of them. <laughs> no, my wife, she she collects things like um, what pop figures did she get? She got a few Star Wars ones. She's, she's a big Carrie Fisher fan and Princess Leia fan. Oh, um, yeah. she loves loves her labyrinth, so she's got the labyrinth oh, ones as I well. I get labyrinth ones, yeah, get any, yeah. Labyrinth ones, yeah, yeah. And now they're doing ET as well, so she she likes. Oh, ET, I saw that so. today. Yeah, I saw those ones today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, no, some some of them aren't too bad. I, don't, I wouldn't sort of like go and get like all of them. You know, she just so many variations as well. You could yeah, get them all yeah, in gold and varied. get them all in silver. Yeah. It's just nuts. Yeah. You go for so much money. No. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. You know, there's a. You know, we don't have like endless like pockets of money and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, yeah, we, we just get what we like and stuff like that. And yeah. and unfortunately, I, for me, I, I I like quite a lot, which is a you yeah know, bit of a <laughs> what can you do? Yeah. Oh, anyway, well, you know. last question: What does your collection mean to you, Tez? Um, I think it just makes me uh, happy. 
uh, I'm going to say the nostalgia thing again, obviously. Um, I, yeah, it, it, it just, I don't know, maybe because we're getting old and a bit grumpy, it, it just reminds me of a be, <laughs> better, better times. I think it, it, it keeps us young. It keeps us in contact with other co uh, collectors as well. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I think... And as I said before, it's that that kind of coming into your, your room and just having that sort of ten minutes, just looking at something, and it's just a bit of plastic, you know. It was made from yeah. oil, it was from a dead dinosaur, uh, <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's it's somehow it, you know, it it's manifested into a, an action figure, and it's so freaking awesome. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would. I, I would. I sell any of it? I mean, I have sold stuff. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, things are getting tight in the UK now. Um, I, I, I do look, I do look at things that go around the room and go, well, that was last in, so that could be first out. Do you know what I mean? You got you got to move stuff off off occasionally, but um, mm. yeah, yeah, it means yeah, it means, so, it means the world. It means I don't know what I'd be doing otherwise if it didn't, you know. Uh, maybe I don't know. Go, I think I could going down the pub all the time spending more money that way or what well, that yeah, yeah. No, but at least you got something, something to show for it though haven't you with, with the collecting yeah. i mean you know yeah yeah and it's funny because all the, a lot of the people that i've spoken to in this series is like they're all roughly we're all roughly the same age yeah all roughly the yeah. same age mid How old are you, Stu? me i'm 48. 40. oh yeah me too 74. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah 74. october 74. Oh, there you go. Oh, a bit older than you. There you go. <laughs> I, no, few, yeah, in a few months, but but yeah, because when you because I was working out when you said you were seven, uh, no, when you were um, four in '77, and I was going, how old would I be? And I was like, yeah, I'd probably be about three or four the same age. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But no, um, Tez, it's come to the end of the interview, mate. Um, oh. really, really do appreciate you taking the time oh, out, as I said been, before. Been um, as as always, the hour does go by quite quickly yeah i know i know that one it um, does go quick doesn't it um where can people find you what social media platforms because what i'll do is i'll put the link in the description yes below yes um links. you can find me on youtube at roland reviews as it, as it says on the screen there um and you can find me on uh twitter at tesmondo 74 <laughs> and um, you, you can find me on um facebook just as tez rollins uh and instagram you can find me as i think tez rollins again i think um yeah i do i do, I do have a discord account as well but that's that's i don't really use it um okay. and uh what other one do we use that's it <laughs> Yeah. I'm not going to give well, my phone number out. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the description um, below. Um, yes. For, for those for those four main ones. Um, also, I, I do have some more um, photos that I didn't quite get to use. In oh, yeah. I, I gave you a ton. So I gave you a ton. <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I will do is I will put them in the outro. So oh, nice. after this yeah, is yeah. finished, then, then there'll be a, an outro sort of thing with some yes. more oh, yes, of your photos cool, of your collection. I, I, I probably but, said too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, too much is um is, is good. It's, it's it's not an issue. Yeah. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That has been uh Tez Rollins from Rollins with you. Absolute pleasure speaking to you, my friend. Unfortunately, Ooh. that has come to the end. So um all I've got quick, left to say it? Is, it went quick. It, it does go quick, it does go quick. quick. Um yeah. thank you all for watching. Uh take care, stay safe, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now. See, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.